Hello everybody, welcome to this video about the Christie LX380 or the Sanyo XT21. Up here you'll have your indicators tell you if the lamp's going bad or the filter is clogged. If the lamp is on it lights red. Power, then lamp replace will light up when you need to replace the lamp, which I nah, which I don't have to do yet. Navigation buttons for menu or changing input. Under here is the three L C D panel. I wouldn't recommend going under that only if you uh only if you have been to college and for te for IT or something like that. Then I will put my projector on no show so I can show you the front of it and with now right. You have that. You have your filter right here. You have your filter. Easy access to. You have your speaker. You have your can you you have your remote sensor. You have of course your lens. Yeah. And then you have your legs. Fan. You will have your air intake right there. Then right here you will have your 25 pin connector. Sorry, I can't really get to it. If anybody can tell me what that is for though, I uh, I would love that. Please put it in the comments. Right here you have your VGA. You have to you have your audio video, USB, DVI. If anybody could tell me what these are for, I would love that. Yeah, you have your um, you have your little reset but switch. I'm not sure what that's for. If the projector's acting all wonky or whatever, stick a pencil in there. Remote sensor, control port, VGA out. Then all over there under the VGA, you have your, all your audio. If you didn't connect your computer to audio, which I'm not doing, I have it connected to some speakers. So. So you have that. Then, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I will. But, when the projector's on, I would recommend, uh, I only doing this for this video because the projector's on. And I, it's bad to turn the projector on and off, on and off. Bad for the lamp. It'll be a quicker time. You have to replace it. Hit the lens release button. I'm not sure if I showed you that. I think I did. And twist the lens left. Let go of the button. Pull the lens out. And there you have your lens. Then there's a red dot on here. You're going to want to line that up with the red dot on the projector. Twist it till it clicks. And the reason I won't recommend it doing it is because... You can also hurt your eyes pretty bad when you're trying to install it. Well, there's the lens release button I hit. Okay, time to show you the display of this projector. It has a 30 second warm up to get the image all warmed up. But I have it on no show so it instantly goes to what I need it to go to. And there's the page very bright very good quality my camera's not good quality so you won't see it as good you have your menu input the that SVGA if you can tell me what that's for please do you have your modes like cinema mode dynamic mode you have your contrast the change like the your screen your volume your all this other stuff like background, power management, remote, remote sensors, lamp life, what's the lamp and the filter life, um, and that kind of stuff. 
and your information, what input you're on, and all that. You know, there you go. Okay, I think that finishes it up for the Christie LX380. If you have any, if you want to like or subscribe, please do. If you if you need any more videos of this projector, put that down in the comments. If you need some other stuff, like in the menu, I didn't describe everything, so. If you want me to describe something, just I will put it in the comments or just make another video. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.